Hi and a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today I'm doing a super simple student's risotto. A lot of you know for the next month we're going to be in this very basic apartment we've rented and we've only got a two ring burner, two saucepans and a microwave oven. Having said that, I still want my food to be delicious and I want to keep it fairly simple. Even the ingredients I've bought for this, I don't want to get too many bits and pieces, so I've kept that simple also. Let's get on and make this delicious chicken student's risotto. Now I've got about 10 ounces or 300 grams of lean chicken here. I've gone for chicken fillet because it's very cheap here in Malaysia, uh, but you could use thigh meat or chicken breast. Uh, remove these little bits of sinew, they're very easy to do, just turn the meat over. Get yourself a sharp knife and just drag it along. Take the sinew out, it's a little bit tough. And then we're just going to dice this chicken up into cubes. And then we're going to take this chicken over to the hob. Now I'm using an induction hob, whether you've got gas or electric. I've got a frying pan here. I'm popping it up to a fairly moderate to high heat, 12 on here. In the frying pan, I've got about a tablespoon of cooking oil. And we want to brown this chicken off. So what I'm gonna do is pop it in with the oil and just spread your chicken pieces out in the pan. Now I've got some salt here. I'm just going to take a pinch. We want to season all over this chicken. So I'll take a pinch or two of salt. I've got pepper as well. Happen to have white pepper, but you could use white or black. I want to put a fair bit of pepper on there. I shall be looking at the back of the chicken. I want it to go really nice and caramelized to add flavor to the meat. Okay, when you start to see a bit of color appearing on the chicken like that, we can turn each piece over. Now I've turned the meat over and what I've got here are some dried herbs. I'm gonna take about a dessert spoon of these and sprinkle them over the chicken. Now I've just bought mixed herbs here and I've gone for those Italian herbs, so check the packet, make sure you've got the oregano, the basil, the parsley in there. They're the best flavors I think for this dish. Now as the other side of the chicken starts to cook off, I'm just going to give this a mix through, coat the herbs completely over the chicken and that's pretty much it. I'm turning the heat off now I'm gonna pop this aside. Next, I've got my second pot, the only other pot I have in the apartment. Uh, turn the heat back on. We are going for a modest to high heat. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Now this olive oil's actually got chilies in it, so uh, it'll add a little bit of extra spice. Now I've got brown rice here. You could use brown rice, red rice, white rice, whatever you like. And a regular coffee mug. I'm just going to fill up the coffee mug and this is just a, a form of measurement really, so I know how much water to put in. So that's one cup of rice. And I'm actually going to go for about one and a half cups. Now you're gonna love how simple this is. I'm just heating up the oil a little bit with the rice on it. And next, because I used a cup and a half of rice, I'm going to use three cups of water. Now hear that lovely sizzle? That's what I'm looking for. So it's basically double the water to the rice. Three cups of water in there. I've got these chicken stock cubes. I'm not going for fancy stock. This is just a, a regular stock cube, but I am going to just crumble it up. And I'm using two stock cubes for extra flavor. I've got my mixed herbs. I'm gonna sprinkle in there another teaspoon or two. Next, light soy sauce. We want a couple of tablespoons of light soy sauce. Now this is a student meal, so I've just got some frozen mixed vegetables. I am going to add a cup in there. So you've just got the peas, the sweet corn, and the carrots. Pop that in there as well. Now give this a mix through. Now oil is important for the taste on the mouth on a simple dish like this. I've got a little bit of sesame oil. You could use a bit more olive oil if you like. I'm just gonna add another tablespoon or so into that. Now take your chicken pieces. Well, that lovely crispy chicken goes in there. Give this one last mix through. And as soon as you start to see it bubbling like that, we're gonna take our heat and I'm gonna turn that right down to three. So it's a very low simmer now. Now, a lot of students may not have a great kitchen, but most of you have a smartphone. So set 25 minutes on the timer and off we go. 25 minutes from now, it doesn't need covering by the way that pot, it's just going to absorb the moisture into the rice and evaporate some of the moisture off. In 25 minutes time, that is gonna be perfectly cooked or thereabouts, we'll check it out. 
Now I've got about three minutes left to go and I want you to keep an eye on the rice at this stage. Just come in here close. Now you'll see the rice has, has puffed up beautifully. In this edge here, we've got still a little bit of moisture. What I will do now is just give this a stir through. And you can see at the bottom, most of the liquid has vanished. But you do want to keep an eye on it for the last few minutes. You don't want it to get too dry and end up sticking to the bottom of the pan, which will happen if you have the heat too high or if your pan bottom is too thin. So just keep an eye on it. You can see how lovely and moist that rice is now. Now, there's the alarm going off and you can see, I'm just gonna turn the heat off now. This is the only bit you really have to keep an eye on the last few minutes. Mine has been pretty much perfectly 25 minutes on this hob. We want our rice to be plump and moist. So now I can actually serve this straight away. Let's make sure we get uh, a decent amount of chicken in there as well. Make sure you take the pot off of the heat at this point and this is ready to serve. Now, if your student budget will run to it, a little bit of Parmesan cheese or Parmigiano, and we're just going to grate this over the top of our rice. Now, I've added a couple of cherry tomatoes on there just for some photographs, but come in here and take a look at this. The rice is still beautiful and moist. And for the minimum effort, we are rewarded with a delicious student risotto. I'm gonna give this a try. Hmm. oh man. That is packed full of flavor. It's so delicious. I suspect even if you're not a student, you should give this dish a try because it is so simple. It tastes so good. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think. And if you give this a try, tell me if you've gone for some variations. Maybe you're gonna make it with fish. Maybe you're gonna do it with pork or some other ideas you might come up with. And as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please share it across on social media with any of your friends. And don't forget, on this Sunday, we'll be doing a sweet dish to go with this savory dish. So check that out as well. Be good, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.